It's number five on Avicii Week. That's right. Avicii Week was voted on. In the live stream. Yeah. And it won. Yeah. To be fair, I want to say during that live stream, uh, I th- I don't know who voted in the list, but it was a very European heavy live stream. <laughs> That's and true. And so Avicii won a lot over a lot of artists and maybe people would have on our channel would have liked but they weren't in the live stream so this is a message to you americans get in that live stream that's right counted that's right but don't let the europeans dominate us again yeah come on this is a battle of nations (laughs) yeah truly the weekly top five but uh me and joe don't mind we love avicii so we're gonna we're gonna enjoy this list uh the list was sent in by josephine johnson that's right and nine uh, three four six so how it works, for those of you who don't know, in the live stream, we have people vote on the promo video for the live stream. Yeah, we do the promo video. You put your lists in. You comment on, or you like all the lists that you like or your own list. If you don't want to put a list on, like the ones that you like. And, and then, then the, the top, top four, four will go into the live stream and we will do a live poll. And we've been doing about 11 a.m., um, but, you know. Look out for that week's. Maybe the scheduling can change, but we try yeah, to stick to 11 a.m. Yeah. on Saturday. But yeah, so that's what we've been doing. That's how this list made it onto the show. So your list could do the same thing. That's right. If you play your cards right. That's right. So or one... just donate $100 and then you can put any list you want. It could be a bunch of meme videos. I don't care. Yeah, we'll watch whatever you send us. Yeah. When I was 16, my father said, you can do anything you want with your life. You just have to be willing to work hard to get it. That's when I decided, when I die, I want to be remembered for the life I lived, not the money I made. Once upon a younger year, when all our shadows disappeared, the animals inside came out to play. When face to face with all our fears, learned our lessons through the tears, made memories we knew would never fade. One day my father, he told me, son, don't let it slip away. He took me in his arms, I heard him say. That's a class. I've never heard the song, but I feel like I have. Oh, you never heard the song? Actually, uh, I was thinking about it when where I've actually heard the song because I don't remember listening to this song when it came out. Uh, but obviously, this song, but this song's became like obnoxiously popular on uh, TikToks. Oh, I didn't. know. And they that. always have that, especially the. my father said alive. You uh, live a life you can't. And it's always someone remember. doing something. Pretty much, essentially, what's in this music video is someone like Lifestyle jumping blog. off a cliff or like seeing a sunset or something. Vacation blog. Yeah. Vlog. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Which is uh, pretty much what this music video is. Yeah, it's just a vacation vlog. So that's not Avicii. That is not. This is like some American guy. So it's about an American vacation. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like about That's traveling the around the U.S. And I, I like I like all the hot spots we get to see here. So, you know, we got, I don't know. I don't know Ocean. about those beach places. You got the oceans, but you got New York, yeah, obviously. And then you've got, this is probably somewhere in California, because that's what California mostly looks like. Of course, Las Vegas, not that one, that one. Which, yeah. come on. You know, it's pretty cool to jump into the Bellagio Fountains, but... Uh, Bruno Mars did it best. Oh, yeah. He ripped around on that uh, ski do or what do you call him? Jet ski. Yeah. That, that was awesome. I wonder how much you have to pay to be like, hey, I want to record me jumping into the fountain. Probably a lot. Casinos. Yeah, they, they don't want you jumping in that fountain. No, You'll course. get fined. Very, I mean, maybe you just got fined, sent to jail for it I don't know, <laughs> for a night. Uh, I'm not sure where this is. Looks like California. Although with this black sand. Yeah, true. It could be anywhere. 
Could be Hawaii. Um, so the thing about the song is I'm I'm remembering that Avicii was the pioneer of mixing like Americana with EDM. <laughs> You know? Oh yeah, you know, like acoustic guitars and like this is an Americana like styled song with just like an EDM beat under it. It is, and yeah. then obviously the classic Ivici sound, like doo 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 doo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doo-doo-doo. because he didn't start that way. Of course, he started more pure EDM, but he did push EDM forward in his own way. Oh and yeah, and then just threw Americana songs over top. Of you his know, beats. you know what's funny is that like Ivici. Based on my memory of how it happened, Avicii was to me the EDM artist that like that really that I remember being like, "Whoa, the music is gonna be like this for the next four years." Oh, five yeah, years. Yeah. Yeah. Level when Levels came out, I was like, "This is the like in my eighteen year old brain, I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever heard." Yeah, and this is the way music's gonna be for the next four years, and it was. Yeah, you knew that there was a shift. It was. It, it like, was okay. It was, this is something different and fresh and new, and everyone's gonna try to copy this now. And it may it, it, not, not even saying that it was the first one. It's just the one that I remember really feeling like this is where music's going mm-hmm. in in the United States in particular because oh, yeah. the United states before that it was not edm it was like r&b and hip-hop and uh and then um i don't know all that like like just kind of kind of regular pop like Katy perry pop like i kissed a girl Katy perry which yeah, turned yeah. into different let's keep it going Can't put out, carve your name into those shining stars. He said, Go venture far beyond the shores. Don't forsake this life of yours. I'll guide you home no matter where you are. One day, my father, he told me, Son, don't let it slip away. When I was just a kid, I heard him say, When you get older, your wild heart will live for younger days. Think of me if ever you're afraid. He said, One day. And what I'm realizing is this guy, whether, I don't know if he's like, uh, was a friend of Avicii or if he's just some random guy they reached out to, but this guy got to travel all over the place and do all these fun things for this music video. I know. Assuming he got compensated or paid, I don't know, like... He's the main character, and he got to do all these things. I know. He got to go, him do it. Got to go all these cool places. And, you know, we've been to a lot of those places, but we didn't do as cool things as he did at these places. He's doing all sorts of things. Yeah, I'm a little bitter about it. Well, he he's into water sports. Ah, I'm not much of a water sports guy. That is true. I'm not... I mean, I'm a sports guy, but not like an extreme sports guy. He's doing extreme sports. Um, but, by the way, I love these, like, scenes. This kind of feels like childhood here, which is so funny because, like, the... Uh, Throwing in the Americana aspect of it and then feeling like it connects to your childhood, but it's a Swedish artist writing EDM music. It all just, <laughs> yeah. it all is just kind of funny, but like lakes like this, this is, this is summer. This is summer in our lives. It's lakes like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Finger Lakes. The Finger Lakes region in, in particular. New York. Um, I guess sometimes Lake Ontario, but that was always cold and weird. And it's big and... I don't know, Lake Ontario. Yeah, Lake Ontario is not ideal. The, the Finger, Finger lakes, lakes are beautiful. Well, because they were more, they were better kept. They weren't as polluted. Yeah, and they're warmer. Everyone kind of wrecked Lake Ontario, but I think it's coming back. Oh, is it roaring back? 
Well, yeah, people aren't assholes anymore. They just don't, like, dump oil in the lake. Yeah, whatever Kodak made, just <laughs> right into the Genesee River, right into the lake. Yeah. Disposing their biohazard. Just like, just like fish lake. floating to the top. They're like, ah, ah that's yeah. probably shouldn't go in. If the um, fish can't live in this water, we most certainly can't. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, I'm thinking about this guy. What is he like a famous YouTuber, like a lifestyle YouTuber? Yeah, I'm actually curious. Like, who, is, who is this guy? They're like, oh, he's doing all this stuff anyways. Just send us your footage. We'll put it into a music video. Like, I, I don't, I don't know what's. Although that's Toronto. Toronto is it not? I mean, that isn't. I mean, unless it looks like the CN Tower, but it doesn't look tall other, enough, actually. And there'd be way more buildings. Way yeah, you're right. Buildings, I don't know yeah. what that is, actually. I don't know what that is. I don't know what city that is. I don't know what building that is. No, that's not Toronto. It's not the Space Needle. Now that I'm looking at it, it's definitely not Toronto. I have no idea what this building is. Maybe this isn't an American city here because I know. I know my observation deck towers. That is not the Space Needle. Oh, that is not there. Toronto, which obviously isn't an American city anyways. And it is definitely not Las Vegas. All right. So you tell me. And someone's going to be like, oh, it's like Tulsa. I'd be like, oh, never mind. I'm an <laughs> idiot. Just, I've just never been to Tulsa. I, well, well, I've never been there. So that's Los that's Angeles. Los Angeles. I love, man. Well, GeoGuessr is one of our favorite things to do. Uh, but. This yeah, I mean, he, it looks like he could have been anywhere in the world, really. It's just there were a lot of American landmarks. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, obviously, a, a lot of New York City. Yeah. Although, I mean, you know things look, when they're particularly American-looking, it's pretty rare. Or it's pretty it's pretty obvious when you see cityscapes and land, and land areas, when you know that they're at least North American, or American or Canadian. Yeah, in particular, yeah. Right, right. Those two countries really, you know, blend together. Whenever I see a skyline, we're like, "Man, that's a big skyline," but I don't recognize it. I always know it's Vancouver now. <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, it's Vancouver. It has to be because I don't recognize that skyline, but it's definitely in, but it definitely looks like an American city." Well, Joe, don't discount Edmonton and Calgary. That's true. That's true. I mean, you know, it's not Seattle, be or not Seattle. It's Toronto because Toronto has landmarks that are very obvious. Yeah. And then, you know, it's not Montreal because Montreal doesn't look like an American city. Right. It's very French. Or it doesn't look like a, yeah, like a North American city. Or as we like to say on the channel, French. French, yeah. Uh, very cool. Yeah. And it was a fun song. I mean, that feels just happy. It's a very nice, positive message of just like, How is this? Li live a life that you'll reflect on and remember and feel good about. Be like, wow. I When you're like 70 or 80 years old and you're... You know, you know, you're on your way out. Be like, I have no regrets. That life was beautiful. Now, it's sadly, I would say at this moment, probably a lot of the songs on this, but in particular this one, a lot of Avicii songs, I feel like were just, they were like, they're the type of song that was like captured by corporate America as something <sighs> they would use as like, see, we're fun loving and hip. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that's Avicii. I feel like Coca Cola or something was like, "Hey, let's do Avicii songs in like all of our commercials and hammer it home that like live free, have fun, drink Coca Cola." Yeah, it's kind of corporate America kind of hijacked it and it made it very live, laugh, love. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because when I I remember hearing these songs for the first time, especially like Levels and Wake Me Up and things like that, and I remember thinking like dang, this music is sick and so new and fresh and I've never heard anything like it, but now you hear a lot of this music, man, this is a bit tired. Corporate America was like, we know exactly uh, how to ruin this. <laughs> I know, I know it sucks. We know exactly. We talked a lot about that with uh, with like Black Eyed Peas Week too. Oh, Just yeah. Just like, oh man, these songs were pretty, were fine when we listened to them the first time or good. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Moving on.